Hello, my name is Dr. Merkin, and I am one of the foot and ankle service line physicians at Panorama Orthopedics and Spine Center. Thank you for allowing us the privilege to care for you or your loved one. As specialists in foot and ankle, we collaborate to provide exceptional care to all our patients, helping you feel better so you can do more. Today, my partners and I are going to walk you through surgery to repair an ankle fracture, which we refer to as open reduction and internal fixation, or ORAF. Individuals who have experienced an ankle fracture will be individually assessed to determine if surgery is necessary based on the characteristics of the fracture. The goal of this surgery is to ensure the ankle joint is stable and in a good position to heal appropriately. Anytime you break a bone that involves your ankle joint, there's a higher risk for arthritis. By fixing the fracture, that risk is minimized since the joint is returned to a more natural position. When preparing for your ankle fracture surgery, make sure to discuss any questions or concerns you have with your care team ahead of time. You will talk to your care team a few days before your procedure, and it's important you feel comfortable and armed with the information you need. You may also need to be evaluated by your primary care physician before surgery to have medical clearance and to ensure there are no unforeseen issues to impact your recovery. Some patients may need a CT scan if their fracture is complex. This will make sure we are accurately assessing each patient's injury before surgery. Minimal risk to this surgery includes stiffness, rare persistent swelling, and occasional hardware irritation from the plates or screws used to fix the injury. The day of your procedure, you will arrive at the surgical facility a few hours before surgery. The preoperative team will prepare you for surgery by verifying your medical history, starting an IV, washing your leg, and administering a nerve block to your leg. By the time you arrive to the operating room, your surgical site will be numb. The nerve block allows us to use less anesthesia, which helps facilitate a faster recovery time. Depending on the complexity or severity of the injury, surgery may last between one to three hours. You can expect to be in the recovery room for at least an hour, and your nerve block should last between 12 to 18 hours following surgery. This helps to manage pain in the immediate post-op recovery period. Because this procedure is an outpatient surgery, most patients will be able to return home the same day. Pain management will include a combination of anti-inflammatories and narcotics. Within one to two weeks, the patient will be off of their narcotics. Due to a small increase in the risk of developing a blood clot with this form of injury and surgery, patients are placed on some form of a blood thinner for the first few weeks to keep you safe. A period of non-weight bearing will usually be required after your surgery, and it's really based on the type of fracture you have. Most patients can expect to remain non-weight bearing for two to six weeks to allow the injury to heal. After clearance from your physician, patients can start weight bearing and transition from a surgical splint or a cast to a boot. After weight bearing in the boot for at least one month, patients will transition to an ankle brace with a regular shoe for a short period of time to help continue and provide support with therapy to strengthen the leg. While patients can return to most low impact activities within three to four months, they can expect a full recovery within six to 12 months of surgery. We hope this video helped you feel better informed for your upcoming surgery. Should you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to any member of your care team. Our job is to answer your questions so you're comfortable for your surgical experience.